How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be covering up a Virgin Mary with some lettering that my client has on his right arm. The concept that I'm gonna be using is a galaxy with a hint of color, maybe some blues, maybe some purples. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Mi primo reparten flores desde antes del Motorola. Nadie llegó por error. Vamos haciendo money on the low, blow. Somos los vagos, señor. Abogolo como si fueran bon, bon. Yeah. Ah, comete algo. Mira, ¿cómo estás? Ok, ahí te va lo que diseñé. Es el concepto, yo le voy a meter más cuando estoy tatuando Porque lo estaba haciendo y dije, hey, yo puedo hacer más en el tatuaje que lo que estoy haciendo aquí Le puse, eh, porque a mí me gusta ponerle temas a, a, los, a las piezas que hago Y esta la llamé uh, The Universal Journey No, perro Te aventaste eso que te dije ayer Esa madre, eh, dije no, no esperaba eso No, yo, yo tampoco Dije sí, no sé. Perfecto, listo. Yo. Ok, pues me voy a preparar. Yo y ahorita yo sigue comiendo, desayunando porque yeah, gracias, <risa> va a ser un bueno. día larguito. ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Nervioso? Algo. Algo. Y este ya lleva 15 años, ¿verdad? El tatuaje. Yeah. ¿O hace cuánto dijiste? 10 años. 10 años. años que te hiciste este. ¿En, ¿En dónde te lo hiciste? o Casa de mi amigo. ¿Oh, sí? Yeah. En realidad yo me juntaba con otro amigo Ajá. y él es el que se estaba tatuando. Me dijo, hey, vamos. Ah. Y estaban pisteando y ya estando allí y dije, hey, también hazme uno. Ajá. Y pues, <risa> no mames. ¿Cuántos años tenías? Oh, 16. 16. 17, no, sí. ¿Y qué te hizo pensar en la Virgen en ese tiempo que ponerte la Virgen? La verdad, apenas yo he fallecido mi abuela, ese uh -huh. es el nombre de mi abuela. Ok. Y quería algo que no se enojara mi, mi, mi mamá. Dije, so, pues. La Virgen no se iba a enojar. No se va a enojar pero, si es religioso. Yeah. <risa> o no mucho, pero a mí. Man. ¿Tú también hiciste eso? El nombre de mi mamá, para que no se Y no, no creas. Um, la virgencita, el primero, antes de que lo hicieran otra vez, en realidad parecía como la Santa Muerte, ¿no? de lejos. De lejos. Verdad, o sea, la primera me... vez que te la, la hicieron, dijiste, esta es la Santa Muerte. <ríe> <ríe> y la segunda sí, vez. Bien. Ya te no lo... Es esto, pero todavía no. Como el otro ya no me la retocó, pues, más. Pero bueno, ha llegado el final de este tatuaje. Es lo bueno. Mm, gracias a Dios. Llegué yo. <laughs> ya estoy aquí. So this is the project that we are going to be doing today. We have uh, some lettering and the Virgin Mary here. So the lettering was touched up more than once, right? Yeah. More than once. I divided everything in three sections or three different stencils so I can have, uh, so I can be more flexible to kind of place them where I wanted to place them. So here's the first stencil. I want to make sure that this lands right under that lettering. The second stencil is the planet here. And this planet is what's going to cover up the lettering here. This is the most important one because the lettering is, is one of the uh, most difficult part about the most difficult part about this cover up. So definitely, we needed something that's going to help me to cover it up without a problem. I'm actually going to uh, place that stencil a little farther back. So the reason why I didn't like the first stencil, it was a little too center for me. I wanted it more like towards the corner to give it more style to it. I feel like just having everything stacked up, it just looks very plain, very simple. We need more depth into this, more flow onto this uh, arm. That's the one right there. And finally, the last stencil. 
finally, the last tensor is going to go on this corner. That way, it has a flow that goes in this direction here. Perfect. Exactly how I wanted it. Now, I only printed out the, I only stenciled the planets that I'm going to be using here. In the gaps, like on this corner here, like here on the back, I'm going to be adding like a little Milky Way really far in the background to give it more, more um, dimension to the whole thing. A couple of shooting stars, a couple of meteors going across that. And just to fill in those blanks, because at the end of the day, the most important thing is the planets covering up the actual piece that he has and the bottom here. I got to make sure that everything stands out. Yes, sir. Ah, <laughs> bueno. That's our chido. Vámonos recio. Oh, esta canción te la dedico, Kenny. Esta. Hey, Chori me salió picuda. ¿Sabes qué canción esta perra, Kenny? La, no, ¿Conoces la canción esa la que va? Da, 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 bom, 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 bom. Ah, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? No sé, pero nada más me sé el coro. A ver, la voy, la voy, la voy a escribir así, la canción que dice pom, pom. Maniquí. Maniquí. Se sabe mover. Ay, 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 de la mujer Diego. Ay, ay, ay. Ya. Damn, that, ya levantó el ánimo. Esa canción levanta.
Alright, so in this section I'm going to explain how to cover up a few areas here. I'm going to start doing the lettering uh, on this corner here and I'm going to explain how I'm doing it and how I'm going to approach it because it is the darkest part of this tattoo so I have to make sure that I navigate through it super nicely and uh, keep in mind or um, make sure that I'm looking at everything, the contrast, the highlights, the texture, where the meteors are at. So. Um, so the needle that I'm going to be using, the cartridge that I'm going to be using is uh, a 14 round liner with a voltage of a 5.0. I always use 5.0. If you guys follow my channel, you guys know that I'm always using 5.0 voltage. And my initial tone that I'm going to be using is solid black. Just solid black. I'm going to start here on the bottom. And if you guys notice, there is a meteor right here. So I got to, I, I have to... Um, make sure that I add a lot of contrast here so I can make that meteor dark enough to cover up those those uh, those letters there. Like I mentioned earlier, the, the letters, um, the artist went through the letters twice. So that is why the, the, the letters feel very scarred. But it's okay because we have a good concept that's going to help me to cover it up super easy. No problem. So it's all the black. The scribble technique, that's what I like to call it. Excess circles, dots. All over the place. I'm actually just gonna add another meteor here. Take advantage of this open space to distract the eye from everything else. There you go. My plan is to take advantage of uh, every open uh, space that I have. That way I'm able to cover it up super easy and distract the eye from it. Um, in between the letters, there's tons of uh, um, options here to create more meteors and add textures and add highlights. The one thing I do got to make sure is that the bottom of this meteor, it is the darkest point. See now, um, this here, another opportunity for me to make another meteor. Just make sure that to not add way too much. And as far as right here, this meteor, this line is going right through it. It is not going to help me to keep the meteor where it is right now. So I'm just going to move it a little bit to the left uh, to help me cover it up a lot easier because the good thing about meteors and this planet is that I'm able to move things around and it's not going to affect the way everything looks. You have that option to be able to move things around without making anything look weird or out of proportion or the features are going to get messed up, you know, so take the shape of this curve here and use it. So now here you can just add texture, do all kinds of little things. And as you can see, part of the name is already gone basically and I haven't even added my mid-tones on my light tones. Uh, this is just my first layer and that is because I'm using everything that I can to help me cover it up. Always set yourself up for success every time. Doing a cover-up is already hard enough, so uh, make your life a little bit easier and uh, talk to your client, come up with a design that you guys are both going to be happy with, and kill it. I'm going to go to my lightest tone so I can create a little bit more dimension to it because it is looking a little dark on the bottom, so make sure to bring it back. <laughs> So as you can see now, I'm bringing it back, making sure that it doesn't, it's not just completely black on the bottom, you know, dimension is everything. I'm going to keep doing the same technique across the whole thing, uh, covering up the name. I'm going to add the galaxy, a little bit of a gray tones, black, and 
transitioning into my purple. Whew. ¿Cómo ves? <risa> Dice, no me lo expliques porque me duele más. <risa> no me digas qué estás haciendo. The time is finally here and I am excited to announce through the website you guys are going to be able to submit your booking request. If you're an artist, you can also purchase your ticket for my upcoming cover-up seminar. The meticulous merch will be dropping along with the website. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate you and I cannot wait to meet you. Let's go!